I was checking on Zach. Zach, what the hell happened to you? All right, guys, for this week's Slabber Day Saturday, we have these amazing four uh, walnut burls. We brought these in from Oregon. It's actually English walnut with uh, Clara walnut. They graft the two species of trees together. These come out in orchard, and I guess the reason they do that is English walnuts are preferred, but the root system from a Clara walnut is more hardy and durable. So they grow these two together when they're little saplings. And now we got them dug up. And what's gonna look amazing about these trees is the burly character. What we're gonna do is make cross cuts. But you can see here, once the bark is removed, there is tons of character underneath this. These uh, stumps have these burly bumps on them. You can see all those bumps. And those are gonna add tons of character to the live edge. The wood's gonna have character. Actually, kind of, if you zoom in right here, you can see the grain, how it's like swirly. That's what the top of the wood's gonna have tons of little swirls. With this Clara Walnut, it's gonna look fantastic. So first thing I'm gonna do is power wash the heavy bark off, then we're gonna get it on our big sawmill. Let's check in on Zach. Zach, what the hell happened to you? Uh, why do I look messy? You look like it, uh, what is it? The Shining? No, <laughs> it's uh, American Psycho. Oh yeah. Christian Bale. When he's all covered in, covered in blood. Yeah, I don't even know. I can feel it on me though. But I'm power washing all this bark off, or not the bark, but the mud. There's so much mud in that stuff, man. It just splatters right at you. There's no way around it. But I have to strip it little by little because it's so packed in there. Man, it's a messy job. What, what's crazy is last week it was like negative 40 below windshield. Oh my gosh, yeah it was. And now here it is. I'm power washing outside getting sprayed with water. Super beautiful. But that's why I'm getting it done right now because after today, who knows how many more 45 to 50 degree days we're going to have in winter. So Two? <laughs> yeah, right? So little by little. If I don't power wash this, it's gonna ruin the saw blade so much because it's gonna cut in all that dirt and rock. So it's a mess, it's a little bit of work, but it's well worth it in the long run how good it's gonna cut. Hey everyone. So are carbide tip blades worth it? I always wondered the same thing myself. I uh, always use just regular bandsaw blades like the rippers on our regular Timber King sawmill or Timber King 2000, but now we got this big mill here. We've used some rippers, had good luck with it, but I figured I would try out some carbon carbide tooth blades. I got some from uh, Woodmiser. took a little while to get it, but I got them now. It was significantly more than uh, regular blades like the, these blades are 244 inches. The rippers, I would buy a pack of, I think it's 10 of them, for, or the pack of eight. A pack of eight for about 550 bucks shipped. I got a pack of five of these carbide tooth blades. They were, I think, seven or $800. So they cost more per blade, but you're supposed to get substantially more runtime with them. I have no experience with them whatsoever but I figure it's worth a try. On this sawmill, when you're cutting six foot wide, every little bit of blade sharpness helps with your cut staying nice and straight so you don't get a, a wave through it. So figure with these burls, we got these walnut burls here. They're pretty expensive, so, uh, and they're really clean. I power washed them, so I know I'm not gonna hit uh, any dirt or rocks. So this is the perfect type of thing to use it for. I should be able to cut all four burls with one blade supposedly. So let's see how many burls we can get cut. I already started with another blade, but now we just put this on. Let me show you here. So I just installed the blade. It's not tight yet. It does come with, Woodmiser puts these plastic guards on the teeth, which are nice to give it protection. 
First thing I notice is the way you can see here. Let's see, let's get to the carbide tooth. There we go. All right, so you can see each tooth. It's like a saw blade, like a skill saw blade. I notice on a brand new blade, they always inspect it first. I don't know, I'm gonna call Woodmiser and see what they say. Cause the way they grind these teeth, I did notice a couple of them that are already chipped. There we go. That one's chipped. But there's only two of them. But they grind each one of these blades. You can see that blade is a square edge. That one, they kind of grind the two edges. So it's like every other one, they grind it like that. So I'm guessing that's what possibly chipped those few. But I'm excited to try it out. We're going to get this tightened up and uh, give it a whirl on this big cut right here. All right, so here's our first test on the blades. I ended up in these roots. Now that I'm getting further down into the burl, I got a pocket that must have pulled up some rocks. That's the problem with the roots is through time, it kind of just, the roots pull everything up into it. Now with this, a regular sawmill like our Timber King back there, it has a small enough cut where you hit a little bit of metal, it's not a big deal too much. I mean, you can keep cutting on, but on this big sawmill with a six foot wide, ooh, six foot wide cut um, the biggest problem is that once you hit any sort of metal rocks anything that partially dulls the blade pretty much the blade needs to be taken off and resharpened because at that point in time it's going to cut so wavy that it's not worth it but I did hit a pocket here and I could tell when I was cutting I could hear it that's all I'm guessing rocks and dirt so I'm gonna oh yeah so I'm gonna get this scraped out if that was a regular blade you can see it because I can feel it in there. And it did dull it down a little bit, but I just inspected the teeth, the carbide teeth, and uh, they're still, they're not broken off. They're still sharp, but yeah, it's still in really good shape. So I can still continue, but before I cut more, I'm gonna try to, try to get that pocket digged out right there. Just, uh, but I could hear it. I could feel it, and I knew before I cut more, I better check out what's going on inside here. Mm -hmm. 